Science fiction films and television series have us trained pretty well to believe that watching a space battle would be a whole lot like watching two old school Navy battleships duke it out, but, you know, with brightly colored beams and pulses of energy instead of bullets. Recently I found myself arguing online, as one does, about the realism of energy weapons depicted in science fiction. Namely, how I preferred the older beam-type phasers featured in every Star Trek series up to Discovery over the Bolt-style pew-pew phasers that got introduced in 2009's Star Trek film directed by J.J. Abrams. I had many folks telling me that they preferred the new style of phaser because it is more, and I quote, realistic. Well, being the nerd that I am, I thought I should look into this, and we're going to see if the beam style or the bolt style is more realistic in space combat. For examples, I'm going to use some ships I designed for my own sci-fi universe. Big surprise, I'm a writer. Anyway, the first type we're going to look at is the classic Star Trek style beam. On TV, it looks like this. Now we're going to do this frame by frame so that you can really see what's going on. In the first frame, we can see the beam beginning to fire. It reaches out from the ship that is firing towards the target ship. It does so relatively slowly, which is odd since things like laser beams tend to move at the speed of light. Even assuming that they're some kind of particle beams, you would still imagine that they are moving at a pretty good fraction of C and therefore should pretty much hit the target instantaneously. Especially at the insanely close distances ships are usually shown fighting in the big name franchises like Star Trek and Star Wars. Moving forward a few frames, we see the beam casually make its way over to the target. It strikes the target, and then, by some unknown film physics, the tail of the beam then has to catch up, again at speeds way slower than light speed. As we can see, the whole thing looks a bit silly. Let's take another look at how it looks in Star Trek. Yep, still ridiculous. Okay, so then what about the bolt style? Surely that's more accurate to real life, right? Sadly, not a chance. As we see in this clip from Star Wars, the bolt travels at amazingly slow speeds, far slower than bullets fired from modern day firearms in fact. Looking at it frame by frame, with my 3D models again, we see that it looks just as silly as the beam, maybe even more so. Now I know what you're going to say, Star Wars turbo lasers are some kind of plasma. Well, there's two big problems with that theory. Firstly, they're blatantly called lasers in the films, which, you know, indicates that they're lasers. And secondly, plasma weapons don't really work that well, because plasma is basically just ionized gas that disperses almost immediately when fired from a weapon. And let's just say that in the vacuum of space, all that heat's going to dissipate really quickly, leaving you with a turbo laser popsicle. No, that's not really a thing. Again, the Star Wars clip slowed down shows how silly the whole concept looks. So at this point, you're probably clenching your fists in anger and thinking, well then, Mr. Smarty Pants, what would space combat with an energy weapon look like? Well, I'll show you. That was it. There's nothing to see. And do you know why? It's because there's no rule stating that energy weapons have to fire at wavelengths visible to the human eye. In fact, the most realistic candidates for space-based energy weapons are masers. Yep, that's with an M for microwave laser and infrared lasers, both of which are completely invisible to our eyes. So where does that leave the debate about the realism of bolts versus beams? Energy weapons function by transferring energy, usually in the form of heat, to a target to cause destruction. The more energy delivered, the more damage will result. So a 5 second beam will cause more damage than a blast that lasts one thousandth of a second. That's not to say that a bolt can't cause damage, it certainly can. It just needs to put out many times the amount of energy that a beam does. Basically it needs to impart the same amount of energy over a much shorter period of time. So technical talk aside, and assuming you could actually see a beam weapon, what would it look like? Well, something like this. As you can see, the beams appear instantly between the shooter and the target. This is far closer to what real life beams would look like assuming spaceships were dumb enough to get so close to one another in a firefight. In reality though, war in space will not be fought at such distances. Battles will be settled across vast distances. Basically whoever gets a shooting solution first and fires will win the battle. 
but I guess that doesn't make for great TV, so we're not likely to see realistic space combat in popular media anytime soon. I really hope you found this video helpful, and I'd like to ask you to like and subscribe. This has been Bite Bits. Thank you for watching.